Time now for an in-depth look at the market news this afternoon, and for that I'm joined on the line by Mr. Daniel Yu, Global Strategist at Uanta Securities. Mr. Yu, good afternoon. Thank you for coming on today. Good afternoon. Well, let's start with the U.S. markets, where it's another down week. Concerns about a recession ahead, inflation leading to faster rate hikes. Some are worried what we saw with Walmart and Target could be a sign of things to come. What's the story today in the global markets? Yes, on the regular trading day of Thursday, the S&P 500, Dow, Nasdaq all fell. Uh, if you look at Dow, it was down by 0.78%. Nasdaq was down by 0.26%. Uh, main reason for the decline is because of the concern that the U.S. retailers are showing a disappointing quarterly results, where the concerns are about uh, diminishing margins. Uh, as you know, that there's a surge of inflation, and a quite a bit of a weaker consumer demand is happening uh, due to heavy inflation numbers. So uh, I guess a lot of people are concerned about the possibility of economic recession. If you look at the S&P 500, from the peak to the bottom, uh, it has declined almost close to 20 percent. Uh, if it breaches that 20 percent, the concern is that the recessionary decline could happen, and therefore people are quite uh, perturbed about the current uh, trend. However, though, if you look at the U.S futures market right now, it is showing a quite a bit of a recovery. Uh, in terms of the uh, long-term and short-term uh, differentials of interest rate, and also if you look at the other uh, labor uh, conditions and all, uh, we don't think that the U.S. will be falling into the economic recession. But nevertheless, market seems to be quite volatile uh, on upon the uh, overall results numbers. Uh, all in all, you might uh, expect further uh, volatility over the next couple of months. Uh, but as the second quarter numbers comes out, if the numbers are good and the economic recession doesn't happen, the market will be in good position to recover in the future. Well, Korean stocks strongly higher today and with the S&P 500 on the verge of a bear market, in some sense, Korean stocks are outperforming so far this year. At the cost be now back above 2,600 points. Shares of Samsung and SK Hynix up, some say because President Biden's paying a visit to a Samsung factory. Uh, tell us about the domestic market. Yes, as you said, uh, President Biden has visited Korea. Uh, he'll be visiting Samsung Electronics uh, semiconductor plant, and also he's planning to visit Hyundai Motors plant as well. Uh, if you look at the foreign investors' movement, it is clear that uh, foreigners are becoming a net buyer of the market. The futures market, they bought over one trillion won worth of uh, uh, futures, and also in terms of the equities, they bought about 156 billion of the cost B and also about 100 billion of the cost stack. Uh, the retailers are uh, the only one that's selling over trillion won of the Korean won. Uh, the institutional investors were net purchaser of the Korean market by about 840 billion or so of the cost fee and 96.5 billion of the cost stack. Uh, and if you look at the China, uh, Chinese government have lowered the interest rate for the mortgages uh, by 0.15 percent, uh, which is one of the highest decline that we've seen, the five years LPR rate. And clearly, it seems that the uh, regulatory environment is in favor of the equity market. As for the Korea also, they are planning to lower the corporate tax rate as well. Uh, all in all, we think that the Korea that underperformed in the last one year or so uh, in a recent days, they start to outperform these days. Right. Uh, and finally, Mr. Yu, Korean consumers are really feeling the inflation now. Data show their propensity to spend has come down, and the concern is this is going to cancel out some of the recovery we've been seeing in spending. Uh, what are we in for inflation-wise, and how's it hitting the economy? Yes, as you said, there's a quite a bit of a concern about inflation. Uh, if you look at the cost of the uh, productions have risen quite significantly, and also the consumer price spiked up about 4.8 percent on the year in April. This is the fastest increase in more than 13 years, uh, followed by 4.1 percent in March. Uh, as the lifting of the COVID-19 social distancing rules in April, uh, it is expected to spur more private spending and it caused further price pressure uh, in terms of dining out and personal services, et cetera. Uh, a lot of people are uh, revising up. Uh, the Korea Development Institute also uh, revising up the inflation numbers to 4.2% for this year. Uh, early estimate was only about 1.7%. So all in all, it is clearly putting pressure. However, 
However, though, uh, if you look at the economic recovery overall and the percentage of the growth rate we are seeing in terms of the uh, overall uh, consumption as well as the GDP numbers, uh, we don't think that Korea will be facing a recessionary numbers, uh, but uh, of course it will be causing uh, some of the uncertainty because of the higher inflation. Uh, but as I said, uh, government is planning to do more in terms of the fiscal policy. Uh, in terms of the monetary policy, it will be difficult as the U.S. raising interest rate. So government will be in position to do use uh, more of the fiscal side rather than the monetary side. Uh, as the government have changed with the new president, we think that there will be some more aggressive measures after Biden's visit to Korea. Got it. Well, to see what happens this weekend and uh, check back in again next week, Mr. Yu. Thank you, as always, for uh, sharing your insights with us and have a great weekend. Thank you. You too.